Hey gang, and welcome back to another sweet EDH game. We got some new friends, some new generals, so let's see who's playing whom. This week, I've got Marin, Josh is playing General Tazri, Marco is playing Carador, and Jason is playing Azuri, Renegade Leader. For opening hands, I keep Swamp, Birds of Paradise, Viscera Seer, Carrion Feeder, Titania Protector of Argoth, Wooded Foothills, and Urborg Tomb of Yawgmoth. Josh has to mult a six and keeps a land heavy hand with a mountain, swamp, command tower, conjurer's closet, sand steep citadel, and opulent palace. Marco's opener looks like City of Brass, Entomb, Fauna Shaman, Gadok Teague, Eldrami's Call, Reanimate, and Overgrown Tomb. Jason keeps a hand with Genesis Wave, Mirari's Guile, Two Forests, Tooth and Nail, Sylvan Scrine, and Green Sun Zenith. Jason wins the die roll, so let's get into it. Jason's first turn sees a forest come into play, and then he casts Mirari's Guile, basically green Sensei Divining Top. He passes to Josh. Josh plays a foily opulent palace and passes to me. I play my wooded foothills, crack it taking one, get a forest, and cast Birds of Paradise before passing to Marco. For Marco's turn, he plays Overgrown Tomb untapped, taking two damage, and passes to Jason. Jason uses Mirari's Guile to stack the top three cards in the order he wants, then draws. He plays a forest for his turn, then casts Elvish Mystic, then follows that up by casting Green Sun Zenith for zero, finding Dryad Arbor. Josh continues his trend of Trilands and plays Sandsteep Citadel, tapped, and passes to me. My turn sees a Swamp come into play, then I tap Birds of Paradise and apparently get two creatures for the price of one because I'm a dirty cheater, casting Viscera Seer and Carrion Feeder. Marco casts Entomb, finding Elish Norn. To no surprise, Marco plays a land, then casts Reanimate, targeting Elish Norn. In response, I use Viscera Seer to sacrifice Birds of Paradise, seeing the top card on top of my library. I let the rest of the creatures die. Having lived the dream of Elish Norn on turn 2, Marco passes to Jason. For Jason's turn, he plays a forest, then casts Rampant Growth, finding a forest. He passes to Josh. Josh plays Canopy Vista for his turn, and passes. Thankfully, I managed to top deck like a boss, drawing Fleshbag Marauder, which I immediately cast. In response, Marco taps his Forbidden Orchard, giving Josh a 1-1 spirit. He sacrifices his Elish Norn, and Josh is forced to sacrifice the spirit that just came in, so I guess that was cool. Marco plays Temple Garden, untapped, taking 2 damage, before casting Fauna Shaman. He passes to Jason. For Jason's turn, he doesn't drop a land, but instead casts Elvish Archdruid before passing to Josh. Josh finally plays a land that doesn't come into play tapped, and then taps out, casting Drana's Chosen. My turn has Windswept Heath hit the field, which I immediately crack, taking one to find a forest. Marin then joins the party, and I pass turn, returning Fleshbag Marauder to my hand, which I'm sure you guys are all going to be happy that I didn't miss the trigger. Marco plays Bayou for his turn, then taps it, pitching Gadok Teague with Fauna Shaman to find Eternal Witness. He then casts Eternal Witness, returning Reanimate to his hand. He also gives Jason the 1-1 spirit. Jason casts Boreal Druid, then follows that up with Sylvan Scrying, finding Wirewood Lodge, which he then plays. With access to a ton of ramp next turn, he passes to Josh. He taps two mana and casts Calistria Healer, draining each of us for one, and he gains one. He passes to me. For my turn, I cast Joragas Tree Speaker, then level it up. Moving to combat, I swing Marin at Marco, who throws Eternal Witness under the bus, saving himself three commander damage. I pass turn, and at the end of my turn return Viscera Seer to my hand. During his first main phase, Marco pays 2 life and 3 mana to cast Birthing Bod. Tapping his Elvish Arch Druid and his Boreal Druid, Jason casts Lis Alana Huntsmaster. He then uses a Forest and Wirewood Lodge to untap Elvish Arch Druid, which he then taps for more mana, casting Izuri, Renegade Leader, who also nets him a 1 1 elf token. In response to Jason's end of turn, Josh taps Drana's Chosen and Colostria Healer to create a 2-2 zombie. For Josh's first main phase, he plays Cinder Glade, then casts Conjurer's Closet. He uses Conjurer's Closet at the end of his turn to flicker the healer, draining us each for one, and he gains one. For my turn, I tap Draga Tree Speaker, gaining two green mana, and cast Birds of Paradise and Caustic Caterpillar. I then activate Caustic Caterpillar, killing Marco's Birthing Pod. I also get an experience counter out of it. I don't bother swinging and instead pass turn, returning Caustic Caterpillar to the field. In response to my end of turn, Marco takes one from City of Brass and gives Josh a 1-1 spirit. He casts Eldorami's Call and finds a foil carrion feeder. 
Marco plays a swamp for his turn, then reanimates. I use Caustic Caterpillar to kill Josh's Conjurer's Closet. He brings out Elish Norn. Marco then taps Forbidden Orchard, giving Josh another 1 1, who immediately dies and casts Carrion Feeder. He then casts Academy Rector, which he then sacrifices to Carrion Feeder to go find. Living Plane. And at this point, we've all kind of seen enough, so we decide to scoop it up and move to the next game. So this is a good example of why you shouldn't bring a gun to the knife fight. This is not to bash on Marco, but his deck was so far ahead of all of ours, it really wasn't a fair game. I mean, Josh played Taplands for the first three turns. Jason was doing a really good job establishing a board presence, but Elish Norn kind of shuts that down really fast. My claim to fame was actually not forgetting my Marin triggers, but other than that, Fleshbag Marauder coming out once really wasn't enough to help stop the game from being stolen away by Marco. I think this really highlights where if you go to a store with a really competitive deck, don't be surprised if they're not so keen to play again after being blown out because their decks are not as strong as yours. Anyway gang, I hope you guys enjoyed as short of a game as this was. Don't forget, new videos go up every Monday, and as I always say, please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more.